Good afternoon. Speaking to Adil Fazal at the uh, market analyst at uh, CFDs.com. Uh, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for trade needs and certainly take advantage of the uh, the actual uh, trade signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can jointly down the, download the app at www.tradesignal.com or turn it uh, at uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of you, uh, market stats today then, uh, European markets at the moment, uh, certainly FTSE trading higher. German DAX higher, although the CAC certainly has reversed along with the FTSE MIB. In terms of Asian markets overnight, certainly mixed. Um, you have the um, uh, Nikkei up, uh, screaming 307 points, uh, Hang Seng higher 1.7, and the Shanghai index up as well 1.3. But European markets certainly not following through on that potential strength. Also, US equities hit a pivot high on the S&P at 2840, NASDAQ 69.40. So very, very impressive to say the least. Now, certainly seems like US shutdown news uh, obviously has been negated or negated only for a short time. So it's only been kicked down the road for two or three weeks. But yet the US equities certainly are short screaming higher on that. So again, interesting scenario there with regards to the markets. Again, very baffling as well as to how the US markets continue to uh, scream higher day after day after day. One would have expected the infrastructure news and stimulus news certainly to be baked into this market at present. Well, that certainly doesn't seem to be the case. The concept of buy the rumour, sell the news event certainly isn't working either. Uh, this market continues and to rip higher and scream higher, nothing can keep you at bay. And you have to respect that. You just have to respect it. My stop losses have been in. I've been stopped out multiple times already this week in terms of my short trades. Okay, so again, currently sitting at around minus 40 points for the week, minus 60 points last week, and then minus 200 points a week after so my uh, january certainly has been negative and that's obviously a lot of that contribution is from the fact that i've been very biased uh, negative on us equities especially given the fact that mr trump started a trade war yesterday with his potential tariffs on solar panels on washing machines and that doesn't bode well for economic trade at all his whole philosophy doesn't bode well for economic trade but yet equity market certainly is going higher on the back of this stimulus if you can call it that one would have expected it to be baked in by now, but yet US markets continue to scream higher. You have the Shanghai and the Nikkei now screaming higher as well. I think the US markets certainly were helped by uh, Mr. BOJ and his uh, dovish stance, and that certainly has helped the USD JPY, which in turn, or should we say JPY to fall lower, which in turn obviously has, has triggered further uh, 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 moves higher in the uh, US equity market. So again, that's something to take into account as well. Nevertheless, that's where we stand in terms of economic data then for today out of the Eurozone. Uh, German ZEW is stronger than expected or much stronger than expected, hence the reason why the German DAX broken out to new highs. ZEW in the Eurozone, much stronger than expected as well, hence European equities certainly strong there as well. Uh, okay, so that's something to take into account and UK CBI data is certainly coming in stronger too. Okay, so let's see if we can continue that trend really. Let's look at the, uh, the actual markets themselves. You can see here German DAX certainly gapped higher a very very impressive 100 odd points okay touching that 13,600 level daily chart certainly has broken through as well so again you have to respect G german dax all new highs multi new here highs okay in terms of the french cac now french cac broke out it's retesting the breakout zone uh, daily chart again has broken out again and daily chart retesting what's interesting is that the markets actually went back to gap gap fill and then eventually found uh, a place to bounce so it actually went below gap fill and retested the breakout zone. Uh, your previous breakout obviously being in this region here around the 5, 530 zone. So that's impressive. Now, from my perspective, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for potential H&S formation here. So we've got the left shoulder, got the head. Okay, provided we'd fail to obviously uh, take out the head, then you are looking to potentially move lower. So get all eyes on this potential retracement now for me on the French CAC. Okay, let's see how much it retraces and let's see which way it moves. Okay, so all eyes on that French CAC from my perspective. So let's see how that moves. In terms of the FTSE 100 then again, uh, we pushed higher, 7740, went back down, closed gap fill and then we bounced. And now can we actually move higher? Your German uh, FTSE 100 certainly has been a laggard, especially compared to its European US peers and Asian peers, okay? Certainly a laggard. So again, look at, look out for potential weakness there on the FTSE 100 index daily chart. Certainly just trading sideways. Are we actually witnessing this potential break of the bullish channel? That's a good question. Okay, Euro stocks again have been uh, pretty amazing today. They rallied to a pivot high of uh, 3687 before they actually reversed. 
uh, 60 minute chart as well so it depicts that it's showing next resistance being at 3690 although you do have some turbulence in this zone we have put in the top and tail for today at 3687 so again looking for reversal 10 minute chart again like i said has flashy fallen back and actually reversed uh, the initial rally so again that's certainly something to consider as well so european activities certainly mixed here uh, do we sustain the uh, breakout and continue higher or do we retest uh, and um, and actually fail that retest and therefore move lower? That's the question. Okay, you've got uh, trade wars concerns. You've got Mr. Trump concerns. Okay, you've got uh, U.S. government shutdown concerns still exist, given the fact that they kicked the can down the road. Nothing's really changed from my perspective. It's just a status quo. Yet U.S. equities certainly ripping high on the back of Mr. BOJ overnight, certainly with his dovish stance. So. That's certainly something to consider, but bear in mind, you have had stronger data come out, though, with regards to ZEW for Germany and Europe, so that certainly is helping, and UK CBI certainly coming in stronger than expected, with China and Asian markets higher overnight as well. So, again, just take that uh, into consideration as well, nevertheless, okay? Righty then, I think that's a good summation, really, of your, your European markets. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the app from the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.